So without wasting any more time, I want us to look at question number two of this paper. So question number two is usually Newton's second law. And the question says, a 20 kilogram block resting on a rough horizontal surface is connected to blocks P and Q by a light inextendable string moving over a frictionless pulley. Blocks P and Q are glued together and have a combined mass of M. A force of 35 newtons is now applied to the 20 kilogram block at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal, as shown below. This is the structure that we have. The question further gives us information by saying the 20 kilogram block experiences a frictional force of magnitude 5 newtons as it moves to the right at constant speed. Question 2.1 says, define the term normal force. For 2.1, normal force is the force or the component of a force surface exerts which is in contact is in contact and perpendicular and perpendicular to the surface. So the normal force, the force or the component of a force which a surface exerts on an object which is in contact and perpendicular to that surface. Number 2.2, .2, it says we need to draw a labeled free body diagram of the 20 kilogram block. 20 kilogram block, five marks, five forces. Remember, if they say free body diagram, we always use a dot and not a block. Always remember to number your forces. F of N will have tension on this side since there's a string. We're going to have the force of gravity pulling it in this direction. I will have friction pulling it in this direction. And remember, my F applied is at an angle and this is F of A. Let's read the next one. The next one says we must calculate the combined mass of M of the two blocks. Already when you're seeing this, there are two certain situations or scenarios. This will be a simultaneous equation. So for 2.3, I'm going to start calculating for the 20 kilogram block first. F net is equal to MA. F net for the 20 kilogram block is the force of f of x plus the frictional force plus the tension all equal to ma. Breaking up f of x, I'm going to have f cos theta plus my friction plus tension is all equal to ma. Now I'm going to put in values. The force that is applied is 35. I'm going to have cos at an angle of 40 plus Force applied and friction in the same direction, plus 5. Tension is in the opposite direction. We use a negative T. Constant velocity, the mass will be 20. Velocity constant, acceleration will be 0. And then I'm just going to solve for this one. I'm going to put it in such a way that T will be the subject of the formula. So let me just calculate that. I'm going to just have 35 cos of 40. That will give me 26.811115 and so on. I'm going to add the 5 plus 5 and then I get 31.811. Remember to always round off to two decimal places. That will give me 81. For, so for this side, I'm going to have 31.81 to two decimal places minus t is equal to 0. t, the subject of the formula, is going to come to the other side. So I'm going to have 31.81 is equal to t. So that is the tension that I have. Just want to rewrite it. 
in the physics term, T is equal to 3181, and tension is always in newtons. I'm not done. Now I'm going to look at the combined masses of P and Q. You first had to find the tension in the string. You cannot have two unknowns. Therefore, for P and Q, I still say F net is equal to MA. F net is broken up into FG plus tension is equal to MA. When you get to this point, remember, if this tension was a positive, the other one must be a negative, so vice versa. It depends on what you chose in this direction. For FG, I can break it up. Let me do it the long way around so that no one gets confused. FG is MG plus tension is equal to MA. I don't know the masses, but I do know that the force of gravity is 9.8. I'm going to now subtract the tension that I did find here because the tension is the same string. Therefore, I've got 31.81 is equal to MA, but remember constant speed, so this will then be zero. I'm going to take the 31 to the other side, so I'm going to have 9.8M, just multiply that in, is equal to 31.81. I need to find M by itself for mathematics. You must divide both sides by 9.8. What you do on the one side, you do the other side. This and this will cancel. And let's see what the combined masses are. So I'm going to say 31.81. I'm going to divide that by 9.8, which is the gravitational acceleration. So my mass will be 3.25. Remember, two decimal places. The 6 will change the 4 to a 5. This will be 3.25. Mass is measured in kilograms. There we are. Let's read the next one. Number 2.4 says, at a certain stage of the motion, block Q breaks off and it falls to the floor, right? So it falls down. How will each of the following be affected when this happens? Number 2.4.1, the tension in the string, we must choose increases, decreases, or remains the same. Your answer is decreases. This will be 2.4, 2.4.1 decrease. Let's answer the next one, 2.4.2. So the next one says, when that block falls off, what will happen the, to the velocity of the 20 kilogram block? And we need to explain our answer. What will happen to the velocity of the 20 kilogram block? And we need to explain our answer. So this is according to Newton's second law. This is according to Newton's second law. There will be a decrease. There will be a decrease in F net. which will decrease which will decrease the acceleration which will decrease the acceleration please do specify what they're saying of the 20 kilogram block that was the block in question and the speed and the speed. According to Newton's second law, just write that correctly. According to Newton's second law, acceleration is proportional. is proportional to net force. So they did say explain, so they did want everything in writing. And I think that is the last question that we have. And that is then how we would have answered the second question of this paper.